Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another haul. Okay, so, story behind this, I actually graduated college recently, and I got some graduation money, so I went a little cray and bought some stuff that I've been wanting for a really long time, and let me just, I'm gonna just jump into it, get the samples out of the way, I went into an actual Sephora store, and I always like to get samples, just because I feel like you get cheated out of samples at a store, because when you order online, you get free samples, so I always make a point of getting samples. I got the NARS Sheer, Go Sheer Glow Foundation Sample and a Ma uh, Makeup Forever HD Foundation Sample. Okay, and now onto the stuff that I actually bought. If you can't tell by what's on my eyeballs right now, I got the Urban Decay Electric Palette. I've been wanting this for so, so long. Excuse the weird gardening that's going on outside. Anyway, I've been wanting this for so long because, I mean, I'm not one to shy away from color on my eyes, as you can obviously tell, and this palette is just amazing. It's got all these nice bright shadows. Uh, right now I'm wearing Thrash Freak Gonzo revolt on the inner corner, a little bit of chaos, and savage on the lower lash line, and they're just so, so nice, they're so blendable, they're so pigmented, they're so smooth, and this is just amazing, I'm so glad I got this. And then I picked up a new beauty blender, because mine actually died recently, like, I guess it reached the end of its lifespan, because it just snapped and it was getting kind of gross anyway so I got a new one and this time I got a pink one and it's just so cute and the last thing I got at Sephora was a lip tar and I was on a bit of a bright slash neon kick because look at the lip tar I got <laughs> this is the lip tar in the shade Kimber and it's part of the plastic passion collection or something anyway it's an insanely neon coral and that's it right there so I'm going to stretch it out a bit. It's a little sheerer I think than most other lip tars um, but I don't mind that because it's a crazy color and so I'm going to make it really opaque so I can show you the exact color it is. I mean that thing is no joke and I got this because I thought it would look really really cool with a tan and just like big lashes, no makeup on just bright skin and an insanely neon lip tar. So this is again the shade Kimber and it comes with a little pouch and a lip brush. And oh one more thing at Sephora. I picked up the Too Faced A La Mode Eyes Palette. It comes with several shades here. Uh, the ones that attracted me to this the most were Jardin, which is like a really pretty peachy coral color. Um, and can, which is a really, really pretty kind of like orange copper. Um, everything else is really, really pretty too. Soleil is a really, really nice color. It's like a burgundy brown. So, so pretty. And all of these are really nice and like buttery and smooth. Um, when it comes to can, can though, I always have to use my Too Faced glitter glue because it's a little bit chunky and glittery and that just keeps it from flying all over the place. 
So that was it for Sephora. And just randomly um, routine stuff. I picked up a new NYX Milk Eye Base or eyeshadow pencil because obviously I'm going to need it with all the bright colors I'm wearing. And then I went to MAC and I picked up quite a few things at MAC. Um, I picked up some brushes. And the first one I picked up is the MAC 109 brush. It's a small contour brush. I use this at the counter to buff out foundation, put on blush, contour, set under eye, concealer, anything like that. I use this brush. So I got one of those for myself. And then I got a 224, which is my favorite, favorite blending brush. Fits really nicely in the crease. It blends out really nicely. Um, you can also use it for under eye concealer. It's really great for that as well. And then I got a 217, which is a really, really great crease brush for packing on color and kind of blending it, smudging under the lash line, even applying cream bases. Got this one. I really, really love that. And then I got a MAC 219, which is a pencil brush. And I really, really like this for highlighting in the inner corner or going underneath the lash line, especially for packing on color on the very, very outer V. It's great for detail work. And I like using this to pack on the darker colors in here. So I got one of those. And then I went to a CCO in San Marcos. And I picked up a MAC Press Pigment in Lime Ice. And I love, love press pigments. And this is just such a pretty color for spring. It's a minty green color. It looks like that. And it's this shade right here. And I, oh, it's so pretty. I actually wore this to my commencement to my commencement ceremony. It was really, really nice. And then I got Lasting Sensation Lip Pencil, which is kind of like a coral. A darker coral. It matches Vegas Vault really, really nicely. So I got this for all my coral lip colors. So the rest of the stuff I didn't actually buy. Um, my counter had a little kind of like counter competition where we all... Uh, played Viva Glam Bingo, which was really, really fun. And basically, whenever we sold a Viva Glam product of a certain kind, we could highlight one of the squares. And if, like, if we get Bingo, then we would all, as a team, get to pick out some gratis. And so I picked up a few things from that, because we actually won. And yay! So we had a ton of limited edition stuff. And I picked up the Riri Hearts MAC Double Dare Volux Pearl Fusion Shadow Palette. And it looks like this. It's very cool toned. And these shadows I'd never tried before. And they're so nice when they're actually used damp. They're really, really pretty colors. They're very nice and kind of like metallic. Oh, it just looks so pretty. They're a cross between metallic eyeshadow and the pressed pigments that I love because they've got that sparkle and then I picked up I actually cracked this I got home and I just broke it in half it's a MAC extra dimension skin finish and magnetic appeal it's this really pretty kind of like peachy bronze color it looks like that but I, I did crack it which is really upsetting so that's it right there I actually use that as a blush more than anything because it's too, too dark for me. And then I picked up the MAC Pearl Matte Face Powder in Pink Buttercream. And this is from the Baking Beauties collection that came out a while ago. And I remember wanting it so, so bad and I couldn't get it. So just a really light powder. I use this for highlighting. That's it right there. It's really, really pretty. And I mean, the pattern's just really, really cute. So I picked that up. And then... Uh, three more things. <laughs> um, as part of the gratis, I picked up the MAC Punk Couture Lipstick, and this came out with Punk Couture um, Collection during Black Friday, I think. It's a really, really... It's I think it's... If you were to mix heroin with cyber, this is the color that you would get really really pretty color and then I picked up the frozen violet paint pod which is just a frosty kind of purple gunmetal shade it's got kind of big chunks of glitter for a paint pod that's it right there so 
I got that. <laughs> and then I back to Mac'd 